So let's take a look at the new concept that 11G provides, and that's feedback-based optimization. And I guess I should note that this is not an Oracle-only concept. DB2 has the learning optimizer. Um, SQL Server has, has some notion of it. Um, so Oracle's implementation of it is two features, adaptive cursor sharing and cardinality feedback. And of course, it's, it's different in many ways from the other products in the market. But, but, but the concept that the database vendors are getting into is, well, let's take some of the runtime data and send it back to the optimizer. We'll put it in the cursor cache, note the cursor cache. So at least for now, it is not persistent. And then the SQL engine, <coughs> excuse me, the SQL engine feeds back this knowledge and the optimizer can, can, can make use of it. And as I mentioned, it is uh, the foundation for the two features, adaptive cursor sharing to overcome limitations in peaking and the other limitations that John just spoke of, and cardinality feedback to fix cardinality misestimates. It should be noted that this feature is primarily intended for frequently executed SQL. Since both features can cause SQL to be re-optimized, which we've already determined is expensive, the features are intended for SQL with high execution counts, so that the cost of re-optimization can be amortized over many subsequent executions. Short duration SQL statements usually fit this model, such as SQL in an online transaction processing application. Long duration SQL, such as decision support queries against data warehouses, are typically not executed frequently enough to benefit. 